Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com and co-host for Resurrected Republic Dirty Uncle Sam Radio on RBN Network. I wanted to bring you an enjoyable flashback um, that I consider personally priceless. The Senate Subcommittee in uh, 1995 held a meeting on terrorism slash militia in the United States. And Senator Dianne Feinstein, of course, is trying to make the militia sound like a horrible, horrible thing and trying to trick them, which didn't work, of course. But out of the Senate subcommittees on terrorism that was held 615 of 1995, Mr. Johnson delivers a priceless answer to Ms. Feinstein. And I want you to pay attention. I'm doing this strictly for a flashback, for amusement. And I will leave links below in the description box so that you can have the ability to hear the full subcommittee meetings. It'll be a part one and a part two. So, I hope you enjoy. Yeah, the um, first it's a question about uh, blowing up a building. Are there any circumstances under which an individual is justified to blow up any building? After you've evacuated it and you wanted to cover up the evidence. <laughs> Other than that, let me talk about the racist aspect now. <clears throat> the, it's getting old. I'm getting real tired of being called a Klan member. <laughs> I'm getting tired of being called a member of the Aryan Nations group. I spoke two weeks ago down to Lincoln Memorial, along with two other black people and the Jews for the preservation of firearms, and I believe there was somebody else Jewish who had helped organize it, and the reports came out that a racist, anti-Semitic militia group held a rally on the Lincoln Memorial. Are these people blind, or is there an agenda afoot here? Okay? There are more black people showing up every day. A lot of the things that these people sit around in these meetings, these so-called right-wing wackos, and talk about, happen daily in black communities and black communities know this the first people concerned seriously about neighborhood house to house searches and seizures were over in chicago they were black good grief almost half the people in waco who got killed were black this movement isn't about guns and skin color it's about liberty it's about freedom Amen. the same kind of the same kind of legislation we're seeing coming down on everybody now came down on blacks just after the civil war that's why they're getting involved in this thing. And it's going to come eventually to somebody, of, you know, as you keep ignoring us and saying, well, these guys are just a bunch of angry white men. Well, pardon me, pardon me for interrupting, yeah, but yeah. they have started the vote now. So oh, we're going to have to conclude in just yeah. a few yeah. minutes. Okay. Could, if I could, Mr. Olson, would you respond to that? The answer is absolutely not. Absolutely mm -hmm. not. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the flashback of the Senate subcommittee where Dianne Feinstein tried to make militia look as if they were racist, look as if they were ready to be KKK members, and as if they were for blowing up buildings. This woman really, truly needs to have a mental evaluation. I want to thank Mr. James Johnson for his response and allowing us to have that part of history of him setting her straight in the Senate subcommittee Hat tip to you, Mr. James Johnson, of the militia out of Ohio. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening and Semper Fidelis.